coming soon. So, last topic, what we're going to do for the next two weeks is number theory. So, we're talking about divisors and factors and a lot of stuff like that. So, 72 is a divisor of 8. Is this statement true or false? Well, I haven't even told you what a divisor is. So let's talk about it. Um, should I write it? Well, how about, okay. Um, 3, 3 divides evenly into 6. You know that, right? It's a simple statement for you. 3 goes in there two times. Perfectly, right? So that means we say 3 is a divisor of 6. So that's what we mean by a divisor. Something that divides in evenly. And we also call it a factor. It's the same thing. They're synonyms. They mean exactly the same thing. So 3 is a factor of 6. 3 is a divisor of 6. Means it divides in evenly. Does it? What else is a divisor of 6? What else goes into 6 evenly? 2 is a factor slash divisor of 6. What else is a factor slash divisor of 6? What other number goes into 6? 1 and 6, right? 1 is a factor of 6. And 6 itself is a factor of 6, right? So what are, what are all the divisors or all the factors? Divisor, factor slash divisors of 6. What are they? 1, 2, 3, and 6. Those are all the numbers that go evenly into 6. Those are all the divisors, all the factors of 6. Good so far? So there's our first terminology. Divisor, a factor, something that divides in evenly with no remainder. Zero remainder. Right? Because four goes into six, but not evenly. Goes in once, remainder two. Not even, right? So, goes in evenly, no remainder. So, back to the question. Is 72 a divisor of eight? No, they got that backwards. Eight is a divisor of 72, but not vice versa, right? They're putting it backwards. They're making sure, right? Eight goes into 72, but 72 doesn't go into eight, of course. That's false. Good? Smaller numbers, as you know, go into bigger. Just making sure you know the order there. Uh, number two, using divisibility tests, solve parts A through C below. Can 853 passengers be assigned to nine flights so that it all works out evenly? This is basically what, and I saw the screen, I brought Okay, so there it is. Can 853 passengers be assigned to nine flights so that each flight has the same number of passengers? You know what they're saying? Can 853 be divided by nine evenly? That's just, that's all they're saying, huh? Right, if you have 853 passengers, can you put them on nine flights so that every flight has the same number? Can you break it up evenly? So that each of those nine flights has the same number of passengers. I don't know. You got a calculator. You can use it during the test. So what is 852 divided by 9? Is it clean? 94.7. So it's not even. No. That's all. Right? Um, next one. Can a parking lot um, designed to accommodate... What is that? I can't see that number now. 1804. Let me move this up here. This is 94.7. 1804 cars be divided into 11 equal rows. Same question, huh? 1804 divided by 11 evenly. I don't know. What's your calculator set? 64 clean? 164 clean? No remainder? No decimal? So yes. 164 cars for each row. Perfectly clean. Can a theater charging $6 per person for admission to a play take in exactly $28.92? If it's $6 per person... Can you take in exactly 2892? Is that possible? Well, if it divides, it's the same question. See how these are three questions that are the same? They're saying, does that divide by six evenly? Right? Does six go in there evenly? Is there an even amount? And what does it? What's the answer? Four. 482. 482. So, yes, exactly 482 people at $6 each. Gave the uh, $2,892. We good with that? 
Questions I can answer? All right, let's go to number three. Place a digit in the square if possible so that the number 48,200 and something with a six at the end is divisible by four and divisible by eight. So in other words, they're saying, what digits can you put in there? Can you put a, okay, we'll start with zero, huh? Can we put in a zero? If I put in a zero there, is that divisible by four? If you take 487,206, whoops, 200. And six, does it divide by four evenly? You can do it on your calculator. Tell me what's the answer. It's no, huh? So that doesn't work, okay. So then we go up the line. What if we make it a one? So zero didn't work. They want me to try all the digits there, zero through nine. Is that making sense? Now try a one. If you divide that on your calculator, it'll say yes. I mean, it won't say yes. It'll, it'll be clean. It'll be even. Now try two. Now try putting a two in there. Hit the buttons on your calculator. It'll not be, it'll have a decimal remainder of 0.5. So no. Then you put a three in there, etc., etc. Does anybody know the shortcut rule for divide? So, I mean, you can just do this in your calculator. It's fine with me. There is a shortcut rule for dividing by four. Does anybody know it? How do you look at a big old whopping number like that with, you know, whatever, what if I put the three there? You know, I'm underlining it. It's the last two digits. If the last two digits of a number are divisible by four, the entire number is. The other digits don't matter. That, that's what determines it. Does, does 36 divide by four clean? Yeah, four times nine is 36. Well, then that whole number will work. It's just the last two digits. Last two digits. You can, uh, for... You're divisible by four if the last two, whoop, I'm spelling digits right there, digits. If the last two digits work. So that's all you gotta do is check the last two digits. But you gotta calculate, you can do the whole number every time. So I'll tell you, what, what digits are gonna work here? One, because 16 is divisible by four. 3, because 36 is divisible by 4. 26 is not. 56, 76, 96. All those work. You can try it on your calculator. Kind of ran out of room there. Well, you can put a... So, so really, I'm not writing this very neatly. So this spot can be 1... Still not writing very neatly. Can be 1, 3... Five, seven, or nine. Any of those will work, making that number divisible by four. It's divisible by four if the last two digits work. All right, how about divisible by eight? Next question, bless you. What, what about divisible by eight? Anybody know that rule? Turns out it's the last three digits. But, you know, I don't think, this isn't, this isn't an amazing, important fact. But, um, yeah, if you want to know it's the last, you can just use your calculator. It's the last three digits. That's not super helpful. Probably you don't know off the top of your head. A lot of, I don't either, the last three digits. Um, so I would just go with my calculator, 206. Is that divisible by 8? I don't know. Somebody have a calculator? Somebody want to tell me? 206, is that divisible by 8? One, three. No, it's not. No, I just figured it's not. Zero is not going to work. 1, 216? I think so. 108. Write it again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because if that's even, no, if that's even. Yeah, so one works, right? 216 is divisible by four. Sorry, by eight, right? It goes in evenly. That good? So two is not going to work. Basically, the next one that's going to work is nine. Because you've got to add eight to be divisible by eight. Oh, wait, is that, oh, no, that's not true. Yeah, no, no, I'm thinking wrong. This isn't the one digit. Is that what works, five? Five and nine, probably, huh? Yeah. Say that again. Eight times last, seven. You said that for eight, it's the last three. Right. But it works on the homework for the last two as well. Um. No. No, because uh, because thirty six should work then. If you're just doing the last two, and thirty six two thirty six is not divisible by eight. So. So you'll get more than you should, answers. Yeah, the eight ones will work, but other ones will work too. See what I'm saying on that? Aislinn, Aislinn, right? 
Is, does that make sense? So notice it's not quite the same, same rule. You can't just do the last two digits because if you did, you'd say 36 works. And that whole number is not going to supply 8. So, yeah, just, it was just the 1, 5, and the 9 there. So, yeah, just use your calculator. I'm going to move on on that. 1, 5, and 9 will work on that one. Right. It doesn't work. For 8. Right. So the numbers that are made divisible by 8 would be 1, 5, and the digits you could put in this spot would be 1, 5, and 9. Is that making sense? Using the three-digit rule. Using the three-digit rule. Or the whole number. If you want to just type in the whole number in your calculator and go divide by 8, it'll be clean for 1, 5, and 9 in that spot. I see. That was Aislinn's point. Right? Um, yeah. Good point. Why can't we just do the last two digits? Um, I mean, I know I would like a shorter rule, too, if it was true. But it's not. Let me show you an example. So, okay, so 487, 2 blank 6. So 487, 2 blank 6. Okay, so um, the rule is the last three digits. Let's, let's prove, though, that there's a case where it wouldn't work. I don't know off the top of my head. So, so let me see. What was it? Um, 2, 1, 6 worked, right? So 2, 1, 6 is divisible by 8. Is that true, guys? You all have the calculator. I can do it. So half of that would be 108. Half of that would be 54. Yeah, so that one's yes. That's clean, right? So then if I tried to put a 2 there, a 3 there, let's go through real quick. I'll do them real quick. 5 there, 6 there, set, oh, <laughs> um, 7 there, 8 there, 9 there. Which of these will be divisible by 8? Um, is that one? No. 213, no. Is 236? That'd be 1. I, I'm, I'm kind of just doing it in my head. 118, half of that is 59. That's no. It's not going to work. That one's 123, no way. Um, this one is 125 and 3, 128. Yeah, that one's going to work. So, yeah, that's what we said, huh? The 5 works, the 1 works. Okay, yeah, now, um, but that seems to work because you guys are like, hey, 56 works. So it looks like it's working. It, I admit, it does look like it's working right now. It won't. I promise you, it won't continue to work. Let's keep trying. 66, uh, yeah, I don't think you believe me yet, though. No. Uh, 276, I don't know. 135 is half of that. 138, half of that, 65. No. I think that one's a no. And that's 143. Tell me if these are, I'm wrong in these. I'm doing the best I can in my head. Uh, this one's for sure a no. That one works, right? 296, doesn't that one work? That one's a yes. Okay, so now, would that work for 8? I think that would not work. 96 is not divisible by 8, is it? Oh, wow. So for this number, the same rule worked. Wow. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to... So for this particular number, it worked. It does... It, it, in other words, you could have just done the last two digits. If we had something else in front, like a 3, um, let me show you. Um, let's, let's try three. What if I did three, oh, two, three, oh, three, three, oh, four. What am I doing? I'm changing the wrong digit. Sorry. Let's try three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two. So 12, that would be, yes, that's that. Oh, no. That is that divisible? 156. Is that divisible by eight guys? Can you take three, 12 and dot eight for me real quick? Is it with the calculators? Is it? Does, it, does 8 go in evenly? Yeah, yeah. That's a yes. See, that wouldn't work. 12 is not divisible by 8. But 312 is. There we go. So that, that rule won't work. You have to use all three digits for 8. Two digits for 4. All right. Those were good questions. Too good. We used up all our time. <laughs>